Hello friends, today we are going to start a new topic on cement which is rapid hardening and extra rapid hardening cement and we'll also look about the properties and their applications. First, we will discuss about rapid hardening cement. As the name suggests, rapid hardening means gain of most of the strength in early days. Be clear with the terms hardening and setting. Hardening means attaining strength. Setting means losing its plasticity and not gaining of strength. Cement is also known as high early strength Portland cement. This cement is like OPC except that it has more calcium trisulfide and less calcium disulfide. It is used in situations where a rapid development of strength is desired. Now let's look at the properties of rapid hardening cement. They are also important because we use them in manufacturing work in which we require early strength and one advantage is that we can remove the shattering in little time as compared to OPC. This cement must not be used for mass concrete because due to large quantity of heat of hydration. The temperature inside the concrete increases leading to formation of undesirable cracks on cooling. The RHC attains same strength in one day as compared to ordinary cement which attains in three days with the same water cement ratio. Now let's discuss about workability and the cost of manufacture of cement. It is subjected to large shrinkage and water requirement for the workability is more. The cost of rapid hardening cement is about 10% more than the ordinary cement. The concrete made with RHC can be safely exposed to frost as it is maturing more quickly. It contains more calcium trisilicate and less of calcium disilicate than OPC. The expansion is 10 mm and 0.8% by Lee Chatelier and Autoclave method respectively. One important point in every cement is setting time. Its initial and final setting time is as OPC because we have told it is not quick setting cement but it is rapid hardening cement. Now. Let's look at setting time. The initial setting time is 30 minutes. The final setting time is 10 hours. And the fineness is 325 square meter per kg. Now let's discuss about how much early the strength can be gained. First, let's look at compressive strength. At one day, it is 16 Newton per square millimeter. At 3 days, it is 27.5 Newton per square millimeter. It is also suitable for repairs of roads, bridges and in structures where load is applied in a short period of time. Till now we have studied about rapid hardening. Now we will discuss extra rapid hardening cement. It is manufactured by integrating about 2% calcium chloride and rapid hardening cement. 
While using the cement, maximum time of 20 minutes is available for mixing, transporting and placing, also compacting and finishing the concrete. It is not used in pre-stressed concrete. Now let's discuss about some important points. The addition of calcium chloride ensures quick setting and hardening properties so that it can be used for special purposes like repair works and especially in cold weather. As the rate of strength development is accelerated, a higher percentage of calcium chloride causes excessive shrinkage. Now we discuss about how much early strength it can gain. The strength gained after one day is 25% more and seven days is approximately 20% more than OPC. This is also known as calcium chloride cement. Now we will tell why calcium chloride is important in gaining early strength. Calcium chloride acts as an accelerator which increases the rate of hydration reaction in cement and that is why it is used in slow hardening cement which proves more effective than in rapid hardening cement which already has high rate of reaction. That's all for the video students. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe our channel.